According to Reuters, President Biden and new FSM President Wesley Simina will meet next Monday during the American president's historic first ever visit to Papua New Guinea. The current agreement with the FSM is set to expire in December. A memorandum of understanding was signed with the U.S. State Department back in February as the U.S. seeks a renewal not just with the FSM, but Palau and the Marshall Islands as well. U.S. financial assistance for all three is pegged at about $6.5 billion over the next 20 years. In return, the U.S. gets exclusive access to lands and waters for military and national security purposes. Guam officials have welcomed the news but continue to press Washington over the costs of migration from the freely associated states. In a statement, the administration says Governor Leon Guerrero and key advisors are working with Congressman Jim Moylan on possible amendments to the renegotiated compact. Adeloup adds that the governor is confident that the COFA nations have engaged in productive negotiations with the U.S. towards the goal of strengthening and growing their struggling democracies. Meanwhile, Congressman Moylan said on the surface, this is great to hear, but he's awaiting transmittal of the deal to Congress. He said only then can they start acting on the COFA discussions, quote, inclusive of funding options for host communities such as Guam. So until the agreement clears the Republican-controlled House, Moylan says, quote, it would be way too early to celebrate. Nestor Lacanto, KOM News.